Okay, so this is my review on um, a Lego combiner that I made. So, I, I figured out how to do this, and a lot of it is just taking parts apart and putting them back on in a different way. But, there are some um, moving parts like here. So, let's take a, that's, there are eight of them in total. So, let's take a look at them in the bit, one by one. So this is the spit this is the main body slash spaceship one. It's just it's just a it's just a block with a pointy bit here and two bits stud bits here. So it's just like a spaceship, it's the main body for both of the modes, the tank mode and the robot mode. It so it's just blocky, just like a big rectangle and triangle. There's um, there are two bits here that are supposed to re represent boosters, but also are um, connector ports. There are also connector ports here and here, but they're covered up by this front bit. This yellow bit here is supposed to be the. So. This yellow bit is the cockpit, this blue bit is like a stripe, and to transform this guy for the tank mode, all you do is take this part and set it off to the side. Next we have this helicopter that my dad made. Um, it's, it's a nice little helicopter. It, the blades actually spin. They used to be, the blades used to be a cannon, and the cockpit can open up and the cockpit can open up. Transform it into the tank, into, for the tank mode, you lift the cockpit up like this. And put it off the side. So these are the, these are two pieces. I decided to put them in together because they work together. And they're, so to, there's a, the, I also put them together is because they're both red. They're the bo two of the both the only red pieces. And if you and this is a race car. This is a spaceship. If you put the spaceship on, if you sp put the spaceship on top, it gives it like a booster, and you and this part can fire. And to transform these guys, um, all you really do is that you put them on top of each other. Side. Next we have pretty much the same thing except different colors and this one has a different back bit. It's pretty much the same thing and um, the, this one, act, the act, minifigures can ride in it. But they can't be in there for transformation. Transformation to the robot mode, exact same thing. Place it on top, put it off to the side. These are the two flying um, transport vehicle things. They're, they're pretty neat. I like them a lot. I like them a lot. This part can bend up. They're pretty much just a big rectangle. And they're really fun to play with. There's a t tiny difference in between with them. This one, there's a piece. There's a piece missing here. That piece is there. This one, there's not that piece, and that piece is there. Just because of I, it didn't have pieces. So transform it for tank mode. What you do is you lift it up like this, and put them off to the side. So to put tank mode together, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take these two pieces and this one. You're going to place these two pieces on this part like this and this. Then you're going to take the front of this ship and put it on facing backwards like this. Then you're going to take these two and you're going to put the, right, the red one on the right side. 
and then you're gonna put it on top like this and top put it on top like this and that's that part done and then the last part it's front heavy so the last part is the cockpit which is you put the helicopter on here like this and then it make, gives it a little more then it makes it a little more back heavy and there, there's the tank load and also you take the guns off and put them on here I was just trying to find a way to put them all together. The guns can still fire. You press down the button on top and attack. So to turn it into um, robot mode, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take these pieces, you're gonna fold them all the way up, and you're gonna just place them on like this. Plug them in. Yeah, what's happening? So to transform it, you take the gun up, then you take this piece off, take the guns off, you don't take the yellow pieces off, take the guns off, uh oh, that does happen sometimes. Take the guns off, put it like this. Then you take this piece off of the piece, and this piece gets stuck there a lot. Don't worry, I can fix it. This thing isn't perfectly good. It um, breaks a lot. So you take off these bits, and you take the race cars off, which is conveniently already done. You take these pieces, stand them up, then you take this piece, plug them in. There are little holes in the back. There are little holes in the back, and then you put this piece in, and then you put the other one in, and it looks like, and they're completely stuck together. So you put them in like this, and then you can spread the legs apart, like that. But I like doing that last. Then you take the race car pieces, you plug them in onto here like that, and you take the spoiler parts off and put them on backwards. And place it on. The blue goes on the left. Blue goes on this side. Then for so for the red one, it's a little bit different. You place it on like this, and you put it down. You put it on like that, like the other one. Except this time, you you and you um turn the um this one around. But this time, you um you put the you take the guns off. This keeps happening. This happens a lot. This thing isn't securely put together. And you put them on here. And then you put this guy onto this side. Then you stand him up. And he's... Then you stand him up and he really stands. Then you take this piece and you put it on here to make like shoulder pads, which limits the way, the amount of, art. you put the breastplate on there, and then you take the 
helicopter. You take this piece off. You um, you turn it upside down. Why does this fall apart when I'm doing it? When you're filming it, and then you fold, you put the blades like this, fold it down, and it makes a visor for him. It used to go over his face, and then I changed it. And then that's, then you put it on to the top, and that's it. Size comparison to a minifigure. <laughs> it's big. Thanks for watching.